Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make Cajun chicken Alfredo pasta all in one pot. And what that means? Everything happens right here. The chicken, the pasta, the sauce, the meal. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is cook our chicken. Now I'm using two large chicken breasts. These are boneless, skinless. We're going to cut these in half lengthwise because we want to cut these into one inch pieces. So I'm putting some gloves on here. And then I'm just going to take my knife, go about halfway down the chicken breast, and then slice it through. Just keep an eye on where you're at. Make sure you just hold the top of your chicken. Now I dried my chicken so there's not a lot of moisture on it. All right, like that. Perfect. I'm going to lay them on top of each other. Take my knife. We're going to cut strips. All right, we're going to turn our chicken around and then cut it into our bite-sized pieces. All right, there we go. We're going to go ahead and season our chicken. Got some salt. I'm going to go right across the top of it. Some black pepper right across the top. Cajun all seasoning. Now this has got garlic and paprika in it, so I'm not going to add that to the chicken here, but we're going to put about one teaspoon across the top. Let's shake it on there. There we go. All right, I'm just going to stir this around a little bit on my board. That way we can get it all nice and coated. We're going to start heating up our Dutch oven or a large deep skillet. You got a lot of stuff happening in here and you need the room. We're going to place this on a medium high heat. Now, I've got my big bottle here. Organic avocado oil made out of 100% pure avocado oil. That's what they say. So we're going to add a four tablespoons into our pot and get that nice and hot. That's what I'm using right there. Once the oil gets hot, we're going to add half of our chicken. We're going to do this in batches. So that way we don't overwhelm the pot with a load of chicken. So we'll do it two times. Okay, it's nice and hot. We're going to start adding our chicken. Try to put it in a layer. We're not fully cooking the chicken. We're just looking to get it nice and brown on all sides and partially cooked through. It's going to be cooking with everything else along the way. So we don't want to overcook the chicken. We'll take about two to three minutes on one side and then we'll flip it over. All right, we're going to start flipping the chicken. Now you can move it around at this time and start flipping over the chicken that's pink on the top there. All right, two more minutes and we'll take them out. All right, we're going to remove the chicken to a plate. Try to drain as much grease off the chicken as you can. We're going to use that for the second batch. Now, if you need to add a little more oil, go ahead, which I'm probably going to. Just a drizzle. There we go. All right, let it sit for two minutes. And then do the shake on it. All right, while the chicken is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and take two cloves of garlic. And we're going to mince it. Just take the back edge of your knife, the flat edge. We're going to beat the garlic. 
take off that outer layer of skin and then we're just going to uh, chop it up. I'm just going to use my knife. Give it a mince. This is great for adding color to your chicken and the flavor. Locks it all in there. Alright, we're going to pull out the, this batch of chicken. We're going to turn our heat down to a medium. And then we're going to add our minced garlic. About two teaspoons worth. Alright, we're going to stir this for about 30 seconds. Gonna add the chicken back in. Now I'm gonna shake in some minced onion. A couple of tablespoons. Actually, I'm just gonna pour it in. One, two. Thirty seconds. One teaspoon of your Cajun all seasoning or whatever Cajun seasoning you like to use. To go over the top. Some black pepper. Now I'm putting in about a quarter teaspoon of the black pepper and some salt. Probably an eighth of a teaspoon. We can adjust the seasoning later. We're going to add some broth. Four cups of chicken broth. Now I like to use the better than bouillon and I make my own. It's cheaper and there's a lot more flavor than the box broth. Now we're going to put our burner onto a high heat so that we can bring this to a boil. We're going to add in two and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. That's two cups. Here's our half. All right, let's mix this all together. Let's bring this to a boil. It's coming to a boil. We're going to go ahead and add in one pound of uncooked pasta of your choice. Now, I'm using rigatoni. That's what I had in my pantry. You can clean out your pantry with this dish. <laughs> all right, we're going to add it. That's what rigatoni looks like. You can use egg noodles, you can use elbow pasta, as long as it's uncooked. I'm going to stir this all together. We want to make sure the pasta is kind of pushed down into the liquid so it can absorb it all. We're going to turn down our heat to a low, medium low, I'm going to put, there we go. Maybe, nope. All right, we're going to place the lid on. We're going to cook this for 15 to 20 minutes. You want to remove the lid every so often and give it a stir down below. That way it'll keep the pasta from sticking. Now, just remember that all pastas are not created equal in size, so keep an eye on your pasta, okay, because different types of pasta cook longer than other types, so just keep an eye on that. Now, we still have one more thing to do to this at the end. Make it delicious. Come back. All right, I've already given this a check. It took additional three minutes, so about 23 minutes. And it is done. We're going to turn the burner off. To this, we're going to add two cups of shredded Parmesan cheese. Now, I get this from Costco because it lasts a long time. I would either do this or get you a wedge and grate it in here. Don't use that green stuff <laughs> in that green container. That's one cup and two cups. Let 
Let's mix this together. Ooh, this looks so good. Give it a few minutes to kind of absorb that, the rest of the liquid in there, and then we're gonna dig in. I'm gonna garnish with some fresh parsley, or you can use dried parsley, that's fine. Give it some color. What do y'all think of my Cajun chicken Alfredo pasta? We cooked it all in one pot. Let's go in for a bite. That delicious chicken is nice and tender. That sauce looks so creamy. Mmm, mmm. That's delicious. I don't get a lot of heat from here because I didn't really douse it with that Cajun seasoning, so keep that in mind. It's really delicious, has a warm flavor to it. Ooh, that's good. Y'all give me a thumbs up on this one. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. And that will happen if you hit that bell notification also. All right, you guys. I'll see y'all on the next episode. I'm taking this and going away.